Okay. All right, Yager, what is, what are we doing today? Uh, getting ready for my elk hunt. Getting ready for an elk hunt. Shooting. When is it? What? When's it start? In September. September what? September 12th. Guys, we're no. getting ready for Gage's elk hunt. No, guys, he drew a uh, youth open bull tag in Utah, which allows him to go in September 12th and hunt with a rifle any open bull unit. So there's like five or six. We are actually going to be hunting on R&K Ranch. They invited us to come out and bring Gage, and uh, they have a ranch that's a part of the open bull hunt. And so we are going to go hunt there. Our good buddy, Matt. Mm -hmm. But today... What I want to do is we're going to make sure that the rifle's zero, and then we're going to do some real hunting situations, like off a backpack, off of some shooting sticks, things like that. What rifle are we shooting? Three hundred Weatherby Mag. What like what's special about this three hundred Weatherby Mag though? Well, if you look closely, the I've been wanting to talk about this gun for a long time, and I just haven't been able to. This the is the brand new special is me. Hush, Weatherby we've done. So this is available now on Weatherby.com. We are selling it in five different calibers, but uh, we designed the stock, the color, obviously the floor plate. We designed all of it. It turned out really, really good. It's a sexy gun. Anyway, if you want this gun, we're not. It's not going to be like a limited run. We're going to sell these for a while. So, uh, link down below. Go to weatherby.com, and uh, I'll have the link. So you can just click it. And if you want one of these guns, um, like I said, we'll be selling them for a while. Anyways, let's get shooting. Winston has been wanting to say hi. What hi. did you find? Bullets. Oh, you got some extended fingers now. Good job. All right, load that bad boy up. Let's make sure it's on. We got target down there at 100 yards. Like I said, we're gonna just gonna make sure uh, the gun's on zero. This is the gun that Gage used to shoot his bear in Idaho about a month, month and a half ago. He shot a bear at about 125 yards with this, and uh, bear went about 20 feet and died. He made a good shot. So we're gonna make sure it's on, and then we're gonna do some real hunting situations. Thank you. All right, first shot was success. He's like, phew. he's zero, just right. Like you're just touching the middle black, but you're right there. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, we're gonna do like a real life calling. Cause guys, we're gonna be hunting elk in the rut. We're gonna be trying to call these bulls in. And uh, so we're not gonna have, you know, we're gonna be set up obviously, but I think we'll be doing a lot of shooting off a bog pod. So let's set that up. Standing, let's do a standing shot first, yep. So we're gonna do a standing shot, like hey, we've got a bull, working a bull, calling them in, Gage gets set up on the bog pods. When he comes out, kill him. All right, so bog pod, working a bull, is starting to come in. Gage, get down on your bog pod. I've gotta walk him through it, you know. Okay, there he is, kill him when he comes out. It's a little different, isn't it? Steady, steady. How'd it feel? Bad. Hit the white. Like, blow. Alright. I hit the L, guys. You're like, that's foot low. <laughs> It's probably one of the hardest positions to try and shoot is standing off of a bog pod rest or any kind of rest for that matter. It's just hard because that gun's wanting to do this. So, but it's a it's a good shot because a lot of times you know you can't get down on the ground because there's brush or, or grass or whatever. So standing up will get you above that. We just got to learn how to shoot from it. All right, we're gonna try it again. Man, shot number two from the uh, bog pod. How'd that one go? Better, it went right and a little bit low. You're in the orange though, right? Kill yeah. shot. What was different that time than the first time? I felt like I was more steady. All right, next position is going to be sitting on the bog pod. This should be a little more sturdy. So it'd be like you sitting down with your back up against a tree, bog pod down. Is that feeling comfortable? Yeah. Okay, look through the scope, make sure the height is right. How'd you do? Uh, 
off the orange, like, like by that much. All right. And right and low. Rack another one in. You hit orange, so you're good. You're, you know, within four inches. I think you're just like two inches low, but first shot on all positions, you've been off, and then you corrected, which is good. So let's go to the very th last position that we'll probably be shooting from. Prone. Which would be prone off a backpack. Safety. Okay, I just want you to walk up there, look up and be like, oh, dad, elk. Shoot him, get down. What I want you to do is I want you to shoot, reload as fast as you can and shoot again. Like first shot maybe wasn't the greatest shot, so you gotta put a follow up in him. Okay. So shoot, reload, shoot again. Another one engage. How'd we do? Hit low both times. Both times? That should be like the most comfortable position. Was it? What? Yeah, it's super comfortable. I don't know why I hit low. So I'm assuming if this elk hunt goes the way I hope it does, I'll probably be shooting at like, I don't know, 75, 80 yards if we can call them in. But 100 yards, like, you should be hitting that orange every time. I think you dropped off there about four shots, which, you know, an elk's, elk's lungs or vitals are, they say, what, 18 to 21 inches? So they all kill shots, but you should be hitting that orange every time. So look at this. We got, this was the first shot on the sandbag. I believe this is your second shot with standing on the uh, bog pod. Third shot was here, second shot on bog pod. Uh, first shot sitting down was here, second shot was here, and then these are all prone. What is this? This one's the best one. That's probably 10 inches. We can do better. Yeah. We just gotta shoot, we gotta just shoot, you know, we got, what, 10, 12 days, 14 days? We need to shoot at least four times before we go. Okay. I think, this is my opinion, but I think the biggest mistake as a father, a mom, an uncle, whoever, if you're trying to teach how to hunt or even to shoot, this is what I've noticed from my experiences of teaching my kids. You cannot, I don't want to say use the word baby them. What I did was really well with Braylee when she was super young was I never helped her acquire the target. I always made her find the target through the scope. And that is huge. It might not sound huge, but trust me, it is. Because one thing I've noticed with people that haven't shot a whole lot is you get them out at the range. They're decent. They can find the target, shoot it. But you get them out hunting in the woods, in the mountains, in the trees, and there's a deer a couple hundred yards off under a rock or wherever it might be. And you're like, there he is. You got to shoot him. And what happens? You can't find them in the scope. They can't find them in the scope. I don't care if it's a new hunter, or I should say, I don't care if it's a kid that's hunting for the first time. I don't care if it's an adult that's hunting for the first, second, third, or fourth time. I've noticed this. The biggest thing is they have a real hard time acquiring the target out in the woods. That's why it's super important to come practice all those positions like Gage does. Don't just come shoot off a bench because I haven't seen too many of these out in the woods. I haven't actually ever seen one yet. Yeah, me neither. So what you want to do is come out here, get the practice of acquiring a target in all the different positions, sitting down, prone, standing, whatever it might be, what, however you might think you're going to be shooting, practice those because it's very different from the range to the field. But I would say don't, if you're starting out with a new kid, uh, with a young kid shooting or uh, somebody that's older that hasn't shot a lot, don't assist them in acquiring the target. Require them that they find the target through the scope. It's huge. But uh, anyways, uh, guys, thanks for watching. We're getting ready um, to jump into this fall. Like we've already been on one hunt, uh, the archery mule deer hunt from Utah. And uh, we're just kind of in between hunts right now, but we're gonna jump right back into it. Um, but best season yet 3.0 is coming at you soon. So look forward to it. It's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a phenomenal season. It's gonna be our best season yet. Anyways, guys, thanks again. If you want, go to the Weatherby site 
click the link down below and go and check out the new Hush rifle. We're super proud of this gun. Uh, I think you guys will be super happy to have one of these guns. They shoot amazing. They look amazing. And it's a Weatherby. Nothing shoots faster, hits harder. Weatherby. See you guys tomorrow. Weatherby. Hit it. Hit him, Gage. Weatherby. 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 Weatherby.